Uh, what's good in these social media streets? This is your boy Jay, and I am back with another video for you guys today. And whether you guys are watching this video on Instagram and on YouTube, um, much love to all you guys who follow me on those, both of those platforms. And today in this video, I have um, six Oracle messages for the month of May, you know, of 2022. And with these messages that anyone resonates with this video, whether you cards that you chose in this video, whether you chose the top three Oracle cards right here with the Archangel Metatron uh, deck or the bottom ones here with the Elemental Oracle deck too, or even just all of them you have up to with this video, um, feel free to uh, integrate these messages throughout the whole month of May and really just letting these messages be helpful to help you take action and just really taking action in your own way for the month of May too. Especially what's going to come to uh, in May too, especially with a mental health awareness month too, and so on and so forth, and uh, Pluto being uh, in retrograde too. It's just really important for us to just you know take care of ourselves in a very emotional, mental, and spiritual way too, as well as physical. And so, with that being said, um, just with this video too, I'm just going to reveal the top uh, three cards for those who really resonate with these messages for the month of May. And then I'll show you the bottom three cards too to anyone who's chosen uh, these Oracle messages for the month of May also. And uh, sharing all these messages together who for people who really like these messages, all these messages for the month of May. And so I'm going to turn around. I'm going to reveal these top three cards here. Just going to reveal it for the month of May and just share what we have so far. And just for the month of May, just going to share these messages off the bat for you. And with this message too about the Metatron Bridge, and just like for the month of May, just to always know that, you know, the bridge is always open for anyone to just really connect with your spirits and see your spirit guides and however you want to call them too. And always know that that bridge is open to connect with them, connect with Source, connect with God, connect with your ancestors, even connect with your spirit team, the Metatron. Just to really always know that you know, Rainbow Bridge, as you guys can see here too, with these messages and the wings here too. Just to always know that, you know, that bridge is always open to connecting with your spirit team and your spirit guides. And to also just, you know, fly free. You know, the element of air is just, you know, um, very freeing and very just, you know, expressive. And especially, you know, for, you know, this video too, for anyone who resonates with the top three Oracle cards that I'm sharing right now, it's just for us to really soar to new heights, fly free, be that free spirit that you're always meant to be, you know, during the month of May. And just always find ways to fly free and just really soar to new heights. And also with the month of May, just to always get to know your inner child. Just to really find ways to just uh, connect with your inner child, to support your inner child, to where you can just, you know, find that clarity and that healing for yourself too, to just really get to know your inner child if, you know, you feel or you sense that you just feel stagnant or out of place or just if you need to just you know find that clarity for ourselves to just connect with our inner child to really just you know 
find our true selves again too. And, even, and how you do that, connect with your inner child, whether it be with certain activities that you love to do as a kid, or just etc. You know, always find ways to really connect with your inner child and really do that in your own way as well for the mother day. And so those are the top three Oracle cards that I share for the month of May for anyone who's really resonates with the Archangel Metatron uh, Oracle uh, cards. But I'm going to reveal the Elemental Oracle decks too in this video as well. I'm just going to share what I have for you guys today. So I'm just going to share these beautiful Elemental messages. And just going to share these beautiful powerful messages for you guys today. And with this video, uh, message too, for anyone who's chosen the Elemental Oracle cards, and just like with the Fury card, you know, this is really connected to the Fire element. And just like with Fury, it really ties into anger and, you know, and rage too. And just really being mindful of that too in the month of May, you know, since it's Mental Health Awareness Month and also with the Pluto and the retrograde too it's really important to really just you know be mindful of our rage if anyone or anything just makes us mad pisses us off makes us anxious or upset just really be mindful of our anger and it's really how to really just you know express your anger in a mindful way to stand up for yourself stand up for what's right and etc just um, but also just be mindful of your anger just to not hurt anyone or do something that you'll regret too and so with this message too, especially you see the fury and it's like this uneasy images of, you know, wild brush fires and wildfires and all that. But and, and it can always, you know, make us feel a certain way. It makes us upset, pissed off, angry. And just like for us to really just be mindful of that. But also with the fire element is really connected to taking action. And just like for any of us who resonate with this message, it's just to really take action with our bodies, with our emotions, with our minds, and especially, you know, to really just, you know, to express our anger in a mindful way, but also just really, you know, don't do anything that's just, you know, that you later regret. Just be really mindful of that, basically. And also, this next message, too, for the month of May, is just to really connect with your heart. You know, this is a connected to the earthly element of Earth, you know, Earth is known, you know, also known as Gaia, Mother Earth, for everyone to call, you know, uh, the Earth also. And just like for us too, and the heart chakra is really, the color green is very strong with this message too. And for us too, for those who really resonate with this heart and these messages, really elemental messages, is to really connect with our heart. You know, always find ways to connect with our home, to really just connect with nature and however you do that. Where you connect with nature, walking outside, playing with your pets, eating nutritious fruits and veggies, or even just, you know, earthing, you know, put your feet in, um, in the dirt and just even on the beach too. Just really find ways to connect with the earth, but also connect with your heart, which is really with the green energy here too, the color green is strong with this message. And just for us to really just, you know, connect with our hearts. And like for like in the movie Forrest Gump, it says, uh, Oh, what was the old saying? I was not saying for us, um, the home is where the heart is. And so for us to, to really just, you know, find our heart centers again and just really find ways to connect with our hearts and also connect with nature too. However you do that, with, you know, eating nutritious fruits and veggies, planting some uh, uh, plants, flowers, even just earthing too in the, in the grass or in the beach or in the dirt too. Just really go for it. And with the next message um, for all of us for the May of 2022 is to always stay connected, you know, as a community. And however you stay connected too, this is another earthly message for anyone, any of us who resonate with the uh, elemental oracle cards is to really Find ways to connect with each other, stay connected as a community, um, maintaining and creating those relationships with ourselves and other people that we care about, our neighbors, our family and friends. Just to really, you know, con uh, 
continue to create and maintain those healthy relationships of life with our communities all over the globe too as you guys can see with the earthly message is really strong with this um reading also and especially you know this really ties into the earth um the earthly element also you know with this message too all about connecting with our hearts and just like you know with a community too um called the biome with this mess this part but it's just a really strong message for us to really continue to support each other as a community and creating and continue to find ways to create and maintain those relationships you know with our uh um, with ourselves and other people in our communities and especially in our environment too just always find ways to create and maintain those relationships with life and so it's a beautiful message here for any of us any of you guys who resonate with the elemental um, oracle cards but for those who really resonate with all these beautiful messages here too i'm going to share these cards again just to give them a brief um, uh, description and so with this message too, with the Metatron um, Rainbow Bridge, just to always know spiritually that the bridge is always open for any of us to really just, you know, connect with our spirit team. And also, soar to new heights, you know, in your life too. And however you do that, in your own way as well. Just do soar to new heights, you know, flying free as a free spirit. Soar to new heights, kind of like this bird in here too. Or I say like Superman. Just you really always find ways that fly free and so many new heights in your life. Let's see if we get that. And also, get to know your inner child again too, just to really find that clarity for yourself. And however you do that, just to really um, connect with your inner child and just really connect with your inner child in your own way to really do things that you love to do as a kid. Or even just, you know, find connect with your inner child to find that healing clarity for, our, for ourselves, whether they were men or women, straight or gay, etc. This is to always find ways to connect with our inner child and really just do that in our own way. And also just really be mindful of what we're, uh, that makes us upset and just really, you know, Really be mindful of that, but also just to really stand up for what's right and really just express in our anger in a very mindful and healthy way to just stand up for ourselves, stand up for what's right, and to just really go for that too. And also be mindful of our anger, what pisses us off, what we see on TV, in our lives, etc. Just always be mindful of our anger. Anger is a good emotion to stand up for ourselves, to stand up for what's right and really express our truth, but also be mindful of our anger to not do anything that's going to be full related regret too. And also just to connect with your heart and also connect with nature too. And however you do that, connect with your heart and also connect with nature, with Mother Earth. You're really showing appreciation to the earth and just um, whether you, you know, go out in nature, plant some good um, plants, flowers, fruits, veggies, and even just, you know, earthing your feet in the dirt, in the sand, or on the beach, or I say, on the dirt, or in the grass, or in the uh, beach too. Just to always find ways to just, you know, show appreciation to the earth and always connect with your heart as well. Because like the old saying goes, the home is where the heart is. And the heart chakra is really strong with this message too. And also just, you know, to really create and maintain those relationships, you know, with life, you know, with our communities that we are part in, you know, all over the globe too, especially, you know, whether you live in the U.S., live in Canada, live in you know, the East, Far East, you know, down South, you know, you name it. Just to always find ways to really support ourselves, support our planet, and always find ways to create and maintain those relationships with life, with ourselves, other people, and especially with our environment too, to really create and maintain those healthy relationships on a regular basis and really just doing that in our own way as well. And so with that being said, guys, I'm just going to straighten out these messages here so you guys can see them properly. 
Ooh, there we go. That concludes the video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy these messages for the month of May too. And if you guys have any suggestions or even just, you know, what you guys liked about the cards I shared too in this video for the month of May of 2022, feel free to comment, you know, whether you guys are watching this on Instagram or you guys watching this on YouTube. And much love to all my social media peeps where you guys are watching this on Instagram and on YouTube. And if you guys are watching this on Instagram, um, feel free to give it a heart, a share with your friends, and even just, you know, um, follow my Instagram page, Herc420, to really um, see more videos like this on a regular basis. And also, if you guys like this video on YouTube, feel free to give this video a like, share with your friends, subscribe to my channel too, Herc213, and hit the notification bell, you know, twice, so that way you'll really get notified for all the content that I'm doing on a regular basis from my live streams to the regular videos that I post. And, you know, maybe continue to practice self care that can um, benefit us, our loved ones in our environment. And I'll see you guys around in these social media streets and continue to post content for you guys to educate yourselves and to entertain yourselves and all the above. Namaste.